Hi and welcome back to the channel. On this channel we look at Spanish, Latin American guitar and also Latin jazz guitar. So today we're going to be looking at a bolero by Julian Arcas. Now the bolero is a, quite a popular dance form in both Spain and South America and this particular bolero is more of a Spanish bolero and its origins are from the folk music of Andalusia and there's also a flamenco palos or style called the Seguidillas Boleras. Interweaved into this piece is some flamenco aspects as well. The feel of this piece is both dance and melodic. It's one of those guitar pieces which has uh, more rhythmic elements and then you can go into more expressive melodic elements which is very common of Spanish music and this is one of the things I really like about this piece. You can really work on your arpeggio chops and also your melodic phrasing. It's an intermediate style piece but really most of it is really quite playable if you have some finger style ability. Julian Arcas was for a brief time the teacher of uh, Francisco Targa. So he's quite an important figure in Spanish guitar history and I think it's really worth knowing a couple of his pieces and that's why I've chosen this one. So we're going to look at how I approach the musical and technical aspects of this piece. So let's get stuck in. So I should just mention that LGM members and the link is above get access to an interactive play along music. You can download and print the scores and you can get a copy of all the lesson notes that we're going to discuss today. So let's try the first four bars in which we set up the bolero dance feel. So you can, you can see that there's a bit of an uh, emphasis on the beat one. B3, so go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So it's really important to set this feel up at the start and keep it rhythmic and moving forward. My fingering is really, and the fingering for these arpeggios is all one direction. And so the way I would finger that is thumb, thumb, index, middle, A. So the two thumbs to start with. That's our A minor. Then we do our D minor. Back to our A minor, starting on E, and then E7. You can also practice it just like in a strumming fashion. You kind of get that, you get that bolero feel. Bars five to nine, the dance feel continues with a descending melody, which should be brought out. Okay, so let's just go through a little slowly. We've got an A minor, a little trill there, ham up, pull off. Continue on the fourth string, then we have a chord there. Then we go to B and F, and then I put a trill here as well. And our E chord. So bars 10 to 13. It features a mostly stepwise motion, which is usually what happens in a mel melody, but also an arpeggio, A minor arpeggio at the end. And there's F sharp and G sharp here, which alludes to an A harmonic minor scale with sort of the emphasis on E, which resolves to E, which is kind of like a Phrygian Spanish mode. So let's give that a go. The first part I play in fourth position like that, and then I shift to 10th. And then our scale, descending, then our arpeggio, and then our chord. So with the arpeggio, um, I move the first finger from the third string to the first string. That's how I do it. And then back to first position for the E7 chord. Take care with the bass notes because especially when you're going from a lower bass note to a higher bass note, it's very easy for that bass note to keep ringing. So I use the side of my finger, side of my thumb to, to keep that string from ringing on. Okay, now we repeat bars one to four. Back to our, back to our rhythmic section. All right, this next part feels more like a falsetta, more of like a, a little solo that the guitarist would do. So important to keep the rhythm driving in this. And we start with some thirds. Let's just play the start of it. So we have these thirds resolving to a C chord. They're quite tricky. Well, not so tricky to do that, but to move to the C chord. So I encourage you to play the D with the fourth finger so that we can get to the C chord. 
So we're going to go. I usually put the fourth finger down here. Then we move to seventh position. We've got CBC, we've got an arpeggio in third position, another arpeggio in this position, and then the rest of the melody I play with the thumb. And I put a slur at this. Okay, so all of that's done with the thumb, and then we have a B7 arpeggio, E arpeggio. And then that's the end of that phrase because we go back to our See how Arcas weaves the, the accompanying the back in and the main melody and the main theme back in. So it kind of builds the story harmonically and melodically. Okay, now we're up to bar 28. We have one of our melodic episodes again. This is probably one of the trickiest ones. So we have thirds again, and we're going to introduce some glissandi. So we're going to slide to the to the A. Okay, and then a move back to first position like we did before. This time we have a G7 and a C, so kind of moving back to an, a C major. So the glissandi can be quite expressive. Probably one of the trickiest parts of the whole piece, just to get that. Just try and be clean and clear about it. All right, we're going back to our uh, C that we did before. This time we're going to glissando up from a G. B, G, glissando. So it's just a slide and then land on that note by playing it. We have a chord here. Pull off 7 to 5, hammer on 4 to 5, and then we move to the 2nd, 3rd string open. Okay, so it's... Worth practicing that phrase exactly like that. Uh, then we go to a B7 chord, so glissando up to F sharp, and now we end up in the 12th fret. Okay, and the, the, the bass note is just driving. And now we go back to our original theme. To our original rhythm, our original bolero dance form. Okay, we're up to the last melodic section, which is bar 41. I really like this final phrase. It just has a kind of a nostalgic feel that I like to bring out. So the glissando up to the G, up to the A. That's a G7, and then a slur, a hammer on. Two, three, F sharp, A, G. Now this bit you have to go with the fourth finger because we have to get the C prep prepared. Okay. So we go G7. That's our C chord. So we go G7, C. Then we're going F. And then we go So that's Bolero by Julian Arcas, a Spanish dance in 3-4 with, with a Bolero feel. Lots of arpeggios, some movement up the neck, really great fun um, and lively and has a lot of lyricism and nostalgia to it, which is really typical of that Spanish style of the late 1800s. But I really think it's great to have these finger style Spanish pieces in your repertoire that keep your technique progressing. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing. It's always great to have people along. And I'll see you next lesson. Thanks, guys.